Hi everyone, this is Alyssa Foss with the Elementary Math Department. I'm logged into Clever as a student right now. So I am going to click on the Pearson Realize app. When I do, it will bring me into Pearson EasyBridge. This is the first page that students will see when they log in. They can get to their products and their assignments by clicking on this arrow here or over here on the Pearson Realize button. This is their home screen. This is a fourth grader. This is where the fourth grader will find all of the student materials. This is where their teacher will have assigned lessons. And then this is where their data will be kept on their grades. So if I go into this student's classes, up at the top here, there's two tabs, assignments and discuss. Under the assignments tab, you can see assignments that have not been started assignments that are in progress, and assignments that have been completed. If I click into an assignment that has not been started, it's going to say not started. It'll have a place to attach a file or a comment. I'm going to start that. This is the Visual Learning Bridge video. If I am a student and I start this and then I realize that I don't have time to finish it, I can pause it, it will save where I am, I can exit, and then when I log back into my classes, it's going to show that same lesson here in progress so that I can start back up where I left off. When I go into completed, it's going to show me all the assignments that I have completed as well as the score. Um, this one has a comment from the teacher. So when we look at that, um, this teacher gave feedback to the student right here so she can see it. The discuss tab is another area where the student and teacher can have a conversation and the student can ask questions and the teacher can provide feedback. If I were to go into an assignment, let's go back to the, um, sorry, let's go back to the one that I is in progress. I'm gonna go back to this one that's in progress. So on this solve and share, I can use these toolbars over here to choose a pencil. Um, I can choose a text box to write in an answer. Whenever I feel like I am done and I have completed my work to the best of my ability, I go up to this check mark and it says, are you sure you want to turn work in? So turn it in. Once a student clicks that button, the teacher will be able to see the students work on their end. When I close out of that lesson, it will tell me that I've completed the assignment. And now that assignment would be listed under completed. So those are the basics on how students can access their assignments and turn them in. There will also be another tutorial coming on what this looks like from the teacher side. Thanks.